Hello and welcome to my studio. We are continuing with our artist inspired prompt this month in the Mixed Media Emporium Facebook group. I've got a piece of watercolour paper here and I'm going to use my gel plate to get down some initial colour. I've not cleaned my plate since last week but should anything be lifted from it it's fine because those colours will go perfect. I'll leave a list of all my supplies that I'm using here in the description box below. I'm starting with craft paints in red and yellow and I'm just going to put a few layers down. I will brayer them out, get it onto my paper and then do a couple more layers using the same colours. For my inspiration this week I'm using a piece by an English artist called John Banting and the piece is called Snake in the Grass Alas and it was created in 1931 and he lived from 1902 to 1971 and the piece that he created was lino cut on paper. I'm keen to do the background in my kind of own way rather than simply trying to copy him and that's why I've decided to use the gel plate today. I want something that has lots of texture in it and something that will look when I continue as if it's kind of from a, a cave wall or a cave painting, something of that sort. So just a reminder that we're not doing individual challenges this month. We have the same prompt for the entire month and we're leaving it up to members of the Facebook group to create whatever pieces they want inspired by fine artists, art movements or particular pieces of art. And I'll leave a link to the Facebook group in the description box below. There are some questions that you need to answer in order to join and also let me just remind you that it is a prompt based group. Now that I've got my base colours down I'm going to go over these with some deco art fluid acrylics and I think the colours I'm using are yellow iron oxide and I think it was red iron oxide but I will put all the details in the description box below and what this will do is it will partially lift some of the colours already on the plate but it will start to take that red and yellow and just knock it back a little bit but also add a bit more depth to it because I really want to try and create some depth in my background. And again I'll do a couple of layers using these paints. And I love the way that that's looking. But there's more to do on my background yet. I'm now going to take some golden, I think it's quinacridone azul gold and I'm going to spread this out across my gel plate and then I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper and see what I can lift from it and again I'll do this a couple of times. I'm actually going to glue this piece of tissue paper down onto the background that I've already created. Again it's about creating depth and interest in the background. This is actually an extra strong tissue paper and it handles wet media really well, handles being pulled off the gel plate really well and indeed sticking it down. So just going to get another uh, layer of the golden paint down, see how much more I can lift off my gel plate and then I'll basically glue it in place. And I'm now going to take some matte medium and use that to glue the tissue paper onto the background. Now they're not the same size but I'm going to trim this off anyway in just a moment or two. So spread that out well, start to lay this down and you'll see that I need to lift a, a corner just to put a bit more on that. I don't mind if there's some wrinkles in it so long as I try as far as possible to get all the air bubbles out. I've put a layer of the matte medium on the top there 
and in a moment or two I'll actually take my brayer and I will ro roll her across the top and uh, get a bit more texture in there as well. So I'm loving the look of this. Those layers have created exactly the feel that I want. So it's different from the original painting that's inspired me, but I've kind of made it my own style. So I'm now just going to trim this down, just taking off any overhang and where the paper is kind of white on the edges. After this, I'm going to take some white acrylic paint and also some of the original red paint and yellow paint that I used and just start to do some of the symbols that John Banting had on his painting, his Snake in the Grass Alas painting. And I'll then take a Uniball Signal white pen and do a bit more of the finer detail and I'll also start to do some of my own kind of symbols, basically just mark making and doodling. So I'll leave you for a few minutes just to watch me do this.
I love mark making, I could sit and do it for hours. I'll leave a link to the painting that inspired this in the description box below and of course I'll also leave a link to Nina's video and to Almut Olsen, our guest for this month. So I do hope you enjoyed seeing me creating this and uh, I hope you'll join me again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.